she's definitely not here. She is not in this building. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. What was your name? My name's Sherry. Sherry, I'm John, nice to meet you. Quite a few bit of people here in this podunk town, as I was saying earlier. Um, we don't really have a lot of people that likes to get involved. This is pretty much a sit back and watch, I feel. A community with people. They don't want to go outside their normal paradigm. They don't want to get involved. Just to see someone arrested with those surrounding circumstances is very fishy, so I wanted to look into it. I wanted to see if justice will be served or unserved. You're saying a grand jury indicted me? Yeah. I will give you all your paperwork when we get to the jail right now. I need you to get some shoes because okay. we need to get moving. Okay. Guys, I'm literally about to break ball. huge breaking news right now, and I'm being arrested, and I have no idea you know why. You know about this case? Burglary? Yeah. For what? To the car. I've been more than nice to the car. I don't understand what's happening right now. Please share this. I'm here in Ravenna, Ohio, outside the Portage County Courthouse. Millie Weaver was arrested on Friday and her arraignment is in a couple hours. We're trying to get in there fast because the, the proceedings were beginning, we were, miss, were missing it. It's the whole reason we came up here. And as we arrived, they stopped us. Do you need to put your signs away, megaphone? You all need to be wearing masks. I didn't have a mask, so, but luckily someone showed up with a whole bag full of beard covers that I had mine somewhere. Then they stopped us at the door to the courtroom and said, look, only seven of you can go in. And luckily I was the last of the seven to go in. Sat us with the six feet apart. And then I noticed right in front of me, the entire front row was empty. It's like, you could have seated that, you know, there's a lot of people who drove hours to come here. I didn't go into the courtroom because I won't wear a mask, um, so I waited outside. Um, but it seemed the deputy sheriff that did come out didn't really, they were, they're more not wanting to get involved with it. They just think this is kind of ridiculous, it seems. Um, I think they were surprised by how many people we actually had out here. At first there was nobody and then Van started showing up with people, so it was really neat. And then they brought Millie in, sat her down, and she just looked just tired and just pissed. She just wanted to get out of there. The judge seemed very annoyed that we were there and she made it crystal clear to Millie right then and there on Zoom that you need to make it crystal clear that your, uh, the circumstances of your arrest had nothing to do with anything but this domestic dis dispute. You need to make that clear to your following, she called us a secret indictment. It's just odd the way that this whole went about. It wasn't right. They uh, arrested her without uh, a warrant. The whole process on how they arrested her was wrong, I feel. And uh, justice, we want justice for her. It's just, we don't usually have uh, big names, big things happen around here. And uh, this was pretty big. Shadow Gate's pretty big. And for a misdemeanor charge for a grand jury, is highly suspicious to me. Why would you need a grand jury? And then on top of that, her mom said she dropped the charges. If, if her mom dropped the charges, she should be okay, and she shouldn't have been arrested. She should have gotten a letter in the mail, or a warning, or some uh, official notice. And if the cops didn't arrest her at the time of the complaint, why go through all this? They were stopping people from bringing their kids in and stuff, but they were all just kind of blown away that we were here. And pardon my French, but one of them was like, this is a effing shit show, and I can't believe you people showed up for this. Biggest thing so, to happen in Portage. The congressman who's a Democrat here, he's totally corrupt. Uh, John Trafficken was the congressman before uh, the president won, and he was uh, murdered by Supposedly, somebody dropped a tractor on his neck. So, 
Uh, Ravenna has always had the reputation of, of being a strange, weird town. Alright, so we need to get over the jail because they might be released. Yeah, let's go there. Any news? Any news? Any news? Any news? Any news? People behind the badge, especially sheriffs, they swore to uphold the Constitution, and we're here to exercise our constitutional rights to support people in due process uh, that we believe they're wrongfully being uh, arrested, um, held over the weekend like this. It's just ridiculous. We as a people need to get educated. We need to start asking the right questions. We need to start researching for ourselves instead of just looking at a screen and doing whatever somebody tells me to do, okay? Look at the science behind mandates. Um, when they start uh, shutting down polls or delaying elections, that should concern you, okay? This is your constitutional rights. This is a, a dem democratic election process that we all have the right to. Okay, we live in a, in a republic that we all live by the same standard, okay, constitutional law. And when the, the government starts to impede upon our rights, it's our job as a educated people to stand up, tell them they're wrong, hold them to the constitutional standards that were put in place hundreds of years ago, right? So, and when we don't do that, they're just going to keep edging away our rights. And so we just need to be educated and hold them accountable. Is that Millie? The dog is good. Hi. Hi. You are. Millie! Welcome back. Hey. Thank you. Out. It's good to be free. Yes. First thing I'm going to do is take this off. <laughs> you should call free. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you right. I you wish I could say support. more, but I'm yeah. kind of limited on what I can and can't say because there's still a case going on. Right. Yeah. Trial dates At first, I was the scared they were going to take my kids so, away for good, political. and I, we were able to get our kids <laughs> back know. under protective orders. So CPS is still going to be on our case all the time. But can you comment on just how your film was going to be released on Friday, and then all of a sudden this happened? I can't. Yeah, that's, that's one thing that I can't. Yeah. I can't. Okay. Because I'll end up back there, right. so yeah. I can't. Well, can it we, speaks for. We all want to buy you food. It does. Guys. We can't talk about any of it. Can we buy Thanks you food? For, sure. Uh, yeah. The Where are we going? Where's your favorite place? <laughs> so, just another channel from Texas, Hippies for Trump from Louisiana. Nice. It's nice, such an honor. It was absolutely Thank amazing. You. We're glad y'all are out. Thanks. I can't believe how far some of you. Came. You know, uh, we love it, you. Oh so God. the crazy thing is, we were here last night. We got a hotel room. We staked this out. And our viewers, whatever, put it out, and we all showed up this morning. So we were here for two hours. We went to the courthouse, and then we came back over here. And the judge is like, let her following know or whatever. She's gonna be able to get bond. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's yeah, been a true honor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's go. been it's been yeah. a true honor. So let this be the fire. You know, all these yes, patriots. Absolutely. There's so many more that's patriots that are not here that have your back. You're doing the right thing. It's because of you and your actions that's gonna save this country. You're a true patriot. And we got your bag. Thank you. Thank you. It just started. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Thanks for reporting the truth. Right. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Our rights are so important. And me experiencing firsthand what it feels like to have all of your rights stripped from you in an instant, it's a terrifying experience. And I wouldn't wish it on anyone. And I really thank all the people that raised all that money for our legal defense fund and the people that are supporting us and trying to help us get through this tough time that we're in right now making it so you know we can have lawyers represent us make sure we get our kids back I mean it's just a scary thing to be in your home one morning and then next thing you know you're being taken away in a police car and it is just a coincidence that I was wearing this Laura Loomer shirt I swear <laughs> <laughs> I wear it's comfortable free Loomer yeah. and Millie right. yeah <laughs> so you know well, thank you. I just want to say thank you guys. Do you yeah. find your other shoe, by the way? Yeah. We love you. Yeah, and I just, I, I ask that people during this time um, just kind of, you know, don't be making threats or doing, you know, leave them alone because it could cause me more problems. So d don't be doing that. I know that my real true supporters aren't going to be doing that. So, right. you We're all here know, for thank you guys. You guys. Yeah, High five. five. If we didn't have the support we'd have, Yay. this could have gone really tight. We're still here. We just got out. <laughs> Yep. They kicked you out real quick. Yeah, they did. I'm so sorry 
you guys are yeah, we want to eat. Eat. <laughs> No, we're fine. We're good. We're just socializing. Well, everyone here wants <laughs> okay, to buy you dinner. Yeah, I I that's you awesome. All right, we'll see you soon, Tori. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Hey, remember, you're socializing illegally right now. There's no six by six right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm starving, right. though. I hey, uh, whatever I can do to help. Anything I, this entire weekend. I heard yeah. you only had bologna and it was stale. Thanks, Gavin. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck, brother. Scientifically, there's a few different names for it. But I just decided to step outside because of that. Something that you can actually see. Something that actually affects your health. Something that's been going on for a long time. There's a lot behind it. Look at this squirrel. Crazy squirrel. Where'd you go? You see him? Along the power lines. Just running across crazy squirrels. But I was on my phone looking at Facebook for the first time in uh, years. And then I looked up and I just saw this. Anyone know what that is? And actually what the meaning is behind it? And how much, well, you probably have no much, you have no idea how much you're duped regarding that. And there's another one right there, just look at that. Uh, you can even look this direction, you can look at that. You wanna know what's ha affecting your health? Well, I've been away from Facebook for years uh, to gain a proper perspective on things because I asked what the hell's going on and what do we do about it. And um, I have plenty of information regarding that that I hope you'll take to heart or take to mind and wanna get smarter with me. Uh, much love, always better, John Hart Crane. And uh, we got more things coming at you. Always better.